Hello. In this quick video, I want to show you a prompt injection attack on Microsoft Copilot that led to data exfiltration of personal information. And in this screen, actually, you can see the exploit chain that I reported to Microsoft in January, February this year. So it all starts with a phishing email that contains a prompt injection attack payload, which leads to a tool invocation to bring sensitive data into the chat context. Then we perform what's called ASCII smuggling to create a URL that contains hidden information. And then we trick the user to click that benign looking URL, which leads to data exfiltration. Well, let's walk through an example. So you can see here, this is the email we want to exfiltrate. The sales for Seattle were $120,000. Now we get Hackerson's a phishing email that contains a prompt injection payload. And I'm showing it here and I'm gonna explain this more. Uh, what's the end of the video. But the key point is the user uses Copilot to interact with that email. And then you can see here, but just interacting and asking it to list the key points from the last email, it invokes an, another tool looking for sales numbers, which is sort of what the attacker actually had in the instructions of the phishing email, which now leads to the sensitive data being put into the chat context and printed even here. And in addition, it creates a link for more details to a URL that is in this case, attacker controlled now. And this URL contains actually a lot more data than is visible. If the user clicks this link, the browser will actually navigate to this URL. You can see the encoded data. The attacker retrieves this data now and they can put it into the tool I wrote called the ASCII smuggler and click decode from a URL. And then the attacker actually has the data of the email. Let's look at another example. In this case, we want to exfiltrate or want to steal Slack MFA codes. So this is the user's email as a Slack confirmation code. Now let's roll a video to show how this looks in action. So the attacker now sent a phishing email already. The user just summarizes the last email with Copilot. And watch out and exactly here on the right side now, it says like, the tool invocation happening, looking for Slack confirmation code. So these are instructions from the prompt injection payload that instruct Copilot to search for sensitive data. In this case, the MFA code. It now renders uh, its, its, its response and in including hidden Unicode characters again in the URL. And if you actually click this URL, you can see we end up on this page. This means the attacker now retrieved that URL. The attacker decodes it they received the contents of the email, which is the Slack confirmation code. Now let's look at the, in detail at the actual prompt injection payloads. It's very simple. So it's just instructing Copilot to name itself Copirate. That's where it always started uh, its response with I'm Copirate. And then we tell it to find one email with the title Slack confirmation code. So it's, this is triggering the tool invocation. And then we'll take the contents of that email and put it into this URL where we replace the body with the hidden Unicode text that are not visibly rendered in the UI. And in order to make it very reliable for Copilot to do this, this payload actually contains a in-context learning example on how to do it. So there is actually hidden characters even in this email that you are not seeing, but this is in order to teach Copilot to create such hidden characters. I hope this was interesting. Uh, follow me on Twitter. If you find it interesting, check out my blog and have a great day.